What if we told you that modern submarines are black for the same reason your car tires are black? That's right. But before we get to the rubber meets the road moment, let's dive deep into the mysterious world of submarine colors. A journey filled with unexpected twists, paint problems, and even a ninja-like collision. Picture this, it's World War I, and submarines are more like awkward metal ducks than stealthy predators. They spend more time on the surface than underwater, making them giant floating targets. Naturally, camouflage became their best friend. After much trial and error, the US Navy discovered that painting submarines light gray with black decks worked wonders. It was like slapping on a pair of aviator sunglasses for ocean travel, cool and hard to spot. But as submarines began spending more time underwater, the game changed. Planes could spot them from above, so the Navy had to rethink their strategy. In 1937 at Pearl Harbor, the Navy went full Bob Ross, testing every color under the sun. Black, blue, green, purple, you name it. After some serious underwater art classes, dark blue emerged as the stealthiest shade in tropical waters. However, there was one tiny problem. The blue paint aged like milk left out in the sun. It turned into a chalky mess, which wasn't exactly stealthy. Frustrated, the Navy said, forget it, let's go with black. It wasn't the perfect color for camouflage, but it was tough, durable, and low maintenance. Kind of like your favorite pair of jeans. Fast forward to 2006, the Royal Navy decided to shake things up with a new shade called Steely Blue. This color was twice as hard to spot in bright seas, and HMS Torbay was the guinea pig, or should we say, the guinea sub. Oh, and fun fact, HMS Torbay was the first British warship controlled by Microsoft Windows. Imagine the horror of seeing a system update required pop-up during a mission. Sir, the sub's stuck. Should we press Control alt delete Despite promising results, the Royal Navy didn't adopt Steely Blue for the entire fleet. Why? It's classified. Either that or they ran out of paint. Nowadays, submarines don't rely on paint for stealth. Instead, they're covered in anechoic tiles, rubber-like tiles that absorb sound waves. These tiles are so good at hiding submarines that in 2009, two of them, HMS Vanguard and French Submarine Triumphant, literally collided. On the night of 3 to 4 February 2009, the French submarine Le Triomphe and the British submarine Vanguard collided in the Atlantic Ocean. The French Ministry of Defense initially reported that Le Triomphant had hit and submerged object, possibly a container, and later confirmed that the collision occurred at low speed with no casualties. The UK Ministry of Defense initially refrained from commenting, but confirmed the incident on 16th February 2009. Both submarines were damaged. Vanguard had outer casing damage near the missile compartment, while Le Triomphant's sonar dome was damaged. The repair costs for both both submarines were estimated at up to 50 million pounds. Both submarines returned to their home bases under their own power, with Vanguard arriving in Clyde and Le Triomphant in Brittany. Think about it, two massive submarines sneaking around like underwater ninjas, bumping into each other because their stealth tech worked too well. It's like two invisible men accidentally high-fiving. Here's where the plot thickens. Anechoic tiles are made from rubber, but rubber's natural color isn't black, it's white. So what's going on here? Enter Carbon Black, the superhero of the materials world. Adding carbon black to rubber makes it stronger, perfect for handling the insane pressures of the deep sea more durable, because submarines aren't exactly gentle with their gear, better at absorbing sound, which is a big deal when you're trying to avoid enemy sonar. Over a century ago, car tires were also white until manufacturers started adding carbon black. Imagine driving around on pristine white tires, one pothole and you'd be crying. If blue is so great for camouflage, why not paint submarines blue? Well, painting rubber tiles can mess with their sound absorbing properties. Plus, paint wears off over time, and the last thing you want is a sub submarine that looks like it's peeling. Some countries decided to get creative. North Korea and Iran paint their submarines green, while Israel uses blue. Maybe they're going for an underwater fashion statement? Can you imagine a camouflage competition at the next NATO summit? Who wore it better, stealth or style? Now, let's talk about why many submarines have red undersides. This isn't a fashion choice. It's all about anti-fouling paint. The red paint contains a compound called cuprous oxide, which prevents algae and barnacles from turning the hull into an oceanic garden. Without it, submarines would end up dragging half the Atlantic around, which isn't exactly stealthy. While submarines are out there hiding in the shadows, cruise ships are doing the opposite. Why are they white? To reflect sunlight and save on air conditioning costs, of course. Submarines 
sneaky, and dark. Cruise ships, bright and bougie. So why are submarines black? It's not about looking cool, though they do. It's about practicality. Black means durability, stealth, and the ability to handle the harshest environments. From their awkward beginnings as surface ships to their modern roles as silent hunters, submarines have evolved into marvels of engineering. And whether they're painted black, blue, or even green, one thing's for sure, they'll always have the last laugh in the world of oceanic hide-and-seek. Next time you see a sleek black submarine, remember, it's not just a giant metal tube, it's a high-tech sonar dodge ninja if you enjoyed this video give us a like share and subscribe and hey let us know in the comments what color would you paint a submarine until next time stay curious and stay stealthy thanks for watching and see you soon for a new topic do not forget to hit that subscription button to help us grow bye bye